is Friday, August 27th. First day of our eight day vacation up to Mackinac Island in EP. We are going to leave around eight o'clock to go to the Old Stone Pet Lodge. This morning it is gray, muggy as everything. And uh, I think we're supposed to have some rain. I understand that uh, it's gonna be 90 while we're gone for a few days. And then when we get back, it's just in the high 70s. I am so ready for high 70s. What are your breakfast? You want your breakfast? Hey, bud. Come see mama. We are on our way. We got Cooper in the car. We got everything all packed, and we are on our way to Old Stone Pet Lodge. It's 7.45, which is really early for me, but we've actually been up since six. So, it's looking really dark to the west of us, but I think it's going towards up north, not where we're gonna be. So, we're, we're on our way. All right, you're here. It's okay, go for it. He knows it. It's okay, B. Well, you stop, John. No. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hi. All right, we're at the Lake Express Ferry. It's overcast day, very humid. Okay, so here comes the ferry. It's just outside the breakwater.
In a quarter mile, turn left onto Lakeshore. We're approaching the Michelinda Mich Lodge. I don't know how you pronounce it. But it's uh, got kind of a gravel driveway and all these big trees. And out beyond there, I don't know if you can see it, is the water. We are here in Whitehall, Michigan. The Michelinda Lodge. We're right on the lake shore. Friday night, we just went to Milan's Waterfront Grill. Kelly kept me with love this place. This reminds me of the place where she worked in East Troy. It's this uh, little ice cream shop. They've got uh, ribs and chicken outside. There's a secret garden in the back. This is the uh, road heading back to the Michelinda Inn, or Michelinda Lodge, rather, after having dinner in Whitehall. And it's right by the uh, lake. This whole road is going to go right down by the lake. Very pretty. It was a really, really hot day today, but it's a nice, it's a nice evening tonight. There's your sun. The White House. This is the channel. Storm over there. Oh, you can see the lightning in there. Yeah, it's a little bit. And then as we pan up here, we've got this lighthouse. It's very cool. This is the view outside of our room at the Michelin Lodge. At the uh, famous cliffs. See the list down there a little bit. It's like everything is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very muggy today. We've got a hurricane that's getting ready to go ashore down in the Gulf, and I think it's pushing up a lot of that muggy, muggy air. So we're heading north. We're heading up to Traverse City today, and then points north from there. These are the famous cliffs of Western Michigan. And there's a lot of
that's where we were. All the way down there. All right, so the breeze has finally picked up a little bit. You can hear the breakers a little bit. But as you look out here, there's a sailboat way out there. It looks like it's having fun. We're in downtown Traverse City, and it kind of is like State Street in Madison. Look at all these uh, shops. Everything is very walkable. And uh, there's even a pizza restaurant seating outdoors. There's over there. Don't look who I found. Hi! It's Saturday night and we're sitting by a Great Lake. It's very nice. the Mighty Mac Bridge and head on our points north. This is Sunday morning. It uh, was really warm and muggy yesterday. I think there's a hurricane that's coming ashore in um, uh, the Gulf Coast today or tomorrow and it's pushing a lot of that muggy air up. But after today it's supposed to uh, return a little bit more normal and we should have cooler temperatures for the rest of the week. Interstate on our way to Mackinac City to take the ferry over to Mackinac Island. And it's starting to look like an up north uh, landscape. Pirate ship. So this is the ferry coming in.
Mackinac Island. We're in the gift shop. Every swim start. And we have finally made it to the Lakeview Hotel. It is on the other end of the main street. Did not want to be on the carriage. Yep, that's right. <laughs>
swimming, going down to the lakefront. The colors are so vivid right now. This is the morning after in our room. Uh, some four poster beds. I do have a TV on the wall, but it's got one of these clean remotes that we can't do any Roku with. We do have uh, doors here that go out on a balcony.
shot of the bridge as it comes up here. Sorry, I had to go so fast, but you're on in that shot. spring. It looks like it's just right down there. I don't know. So this is a spring and it looks to me like the people who go on the barge pull their way across. So somebody does the wheel over there, and that's what takes the, uh, the barge out. It's very clear water. It's a beautiful color. Just look at the color of that water. Really pretty. Really, really clear. Well, yeah, you can see it. 
kill you and your family. Yeah, and take very much. Much. You could go scuba diving in the ladder. Oh, yeah. Or I don't want to even just. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, wow, yeah. It makes a big difference. <laughs> They're all over the place. There's a whole bunch of them. Can you see them all, Juliana? Wow. Just have so Oh my gosh, there's like a We made it to the Rome Inn, and this is Munising. And uh, that down there is the Picture Rock uh, boat tour. Probably gonna go do that tomorrow. All right, so we're staying in room 13 on the right on Monday night, and room 12 on the left on Tuesday night. Uh, and then that is Lake Superior, right out our front window. This is our room at the Roman for Monday night. So the first room we have here is like a big old sitting room. Aww. A very, very large sitting room. Got a TV, got a remote that we think we can use. And this big old sitting area, this is a like coffee bar here. And as we move into the humongous bedroom, we've got Yet another television. And in the middle here is a bathroom. So it's a, it's a rather large room. And unless I miss my guess, I'm thinking that uh, 12 right across the way is pretty much the same. <laughs> This morning on the deck at the Roman and uh, the lady at the desk is telling us that this house belonged to a lumber baron in the 1800s and it was originally placed down across the way at the high school and then they moved the house and sold that land to build the high school. Well, we're back in uh, downtown Munising. And we're gonna go to our favorite little uh, bookstore slash restaurant for what we are told are the best grilled cheese sandwiches in the area. We are heading up to the Grand Island Overlook on Tuesday after lunch. We're at the Overlook and we're gonna head on down now. You see it there through the tree. All right, we're walking down the boardwalk towards the- My legs aren't cold, but yep. walking down, Walking down the Overlook towards the Grand Island Overlook. And it's very pretty. And then 
it's just uh, surrounded by the by Lake Superior. So it looks to me like this is the ferry, which takes you to Grand Island and then back to Munising. Uh, we're not taking that particular trip. We're gonna take the Pictured Rocks tour later today, weather permitting. And that goes up entirely up this, you know, the shoreline it looks like over here. at the pictured rocks up here in Minnesota. We got about an hour before it starts, but they say that uh, people come down early to get in line. The uh, boats did not go out yesterday much because of the uh, wind and the chop. So I imagine there's going to be a lot of people trying to get out today. And here comes the uh, previous cruise, and I believe that's the ship we're going to be taking out here in a little bit. 32 miles round trip, take approximately two hours to complete. And today we'll be seeing 11 miles of sandstone cliffs that drop off into the water. Some places those cliffs reach as high as 200 feet. They're made out of sandstone, relatively soft rock. They get carved out by the wind, rain, and waves. And that creates archways, formations, and caves. There's also a mineral spring water that comes out of the cliff and runs down its face. Those minerals leave stains behind. Almost looks like somebody painted the face of the cliff. Along the way, we'll see a couple waterfalls. And on our uh, trip back, take a close look at an old lighthouse. Here the park service has constructed a few observation platforms up on top of the cliff. It's also a rehab uh, miners river on this end of the beach comes up. Other end has a small waterfall called Elliot's Falls. A yeah, brown vertical street with a notch in the top of the cliff is what's left of Bridalvale Falls. Runs heavily in the springtime and typically through midsummer and dries up. You used to run all year long, but some beavers built dams on the river. Uh, close in through here, about 200 feet high. But we sustained of that mineral behind. So, like if you had too much iron in your tap water, leave a red streak of back to sink. Oh, browns, reds, oranges, and purples you see in through here, those are from iron. Whites mixed in are from calcium. Black is from manganese. out the soft thin layer of rock you see in the center of those caves. And if you look down the shoreline, you see a formation with an arm that you're in love. Be jumping into only
this is Rainbow K. Look closely into the mouth of Rainbow K. My nose that spring water falling from the ceiling of the cave. Splashing into the lake like rain. Point out the water line as his chin. Midway up, there's a large rock outcropping. On the outside of the point, that's the nose. And halfway between his chin and nose, horizontal line. Some few little trees growing in it. That's his mouth. Narrow waist or stem, flare bottom or base. And just imagine a wave as big as this boat going to the last large cut. Top of the rock. Not enough soil up there for that tree to survive, though. See the bear group. This is a train which I'm guessing is This is Christmas. Christmas. We have made it to Presque Isle, which is north of Marquette, Michigan. And we are now looking at Lake Superior from the western shore.
It just didn't have a nice broth. It didn't have a flavor. It was this tunnel of trees. It's crazy. There's a hummingbird over here by these flowers. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... Away. Away. Okay. Oh, I thought I heard a loon out here, so we're gonna go try to see if we can see it. Oh, there it is, it's straight out. All the way out in the... It's a little black speck in the white. It's like straight ahead towards the opposite shore. A little black speck on the water. This is where we stayed last night, the Lakeshore Motel, outside of Iron Mountain, or Iron River. This is the road into Iron River. It's a very, very quiet little town. It doesn't have a lot of things, but it's got enough. We decided to stop by Hagerman Lake to have a couple of uh, barbecue pasty bites.
So we've been watching these seagulls and all of a sudden we heard a loon song and there's a loon, what, just a hundred yards from the surface here. And here's a flying something. Is that, is that a hawk? I think that is a hawk. Wow. So the loon is just out past that angled uh, buoy. so pretty. Here we go. Welcome to Wisconsin. We're on the road on the way to Crandon after leaving uh, Iron River. We stopped off at Hagerman Lake right by the state line. Watched a loon fish for a while. It's very peaceful, very quiet. And now these roads, up the trees, right up to the edge of the road. There's not much in the way of a shoulder at all. This, these are the North Woods. And here we are coming into Crandon on our way to Wausau today. So there's a lake here by Crandon, which I know only for the mining stuff. It's a big lake. It's a very pretty lake. And what, what's his name? Theo. Theo. He's very friendly. All right. Well, we are in at the river, uh, uh, just outside of Wausau. And this place is so cool. These folks built this place themselves. And we're upstairs there above the garage. And we basically got that entire wing upstairs to ourselves. In fact, we've got the place to ourselves tonight. It's just us. It's really quiet here. It's very, very beautiful. We're at the inn by the river outside of Wausau. This is the porch looking out over the river. So cool. It's like a central area. All right, we are in downtown Wausau. And we are looking for shops. Downtown Wassa, and they've got all of these umbrellas up here. Here we are in at the river. Oh, I didn't get the little one. Oh, that's fine. I don't know. I didn't even see that one. I didn't even see that one either. So the place where we're staying at is here back in the woods. And I think this is Dan's car, one of the co-owners, he and Margaret, run this place. All right, we are leaving the inn at the river on Friday morning, getting ready to go back home. This is uh, the morning of Friday morning, and we're leaving Wausau, and it's raining. And we're taking the back roads through Wisconsin Rapids to go up to see Mike's place in Nakusa, Mike Kepke's place. And guess what? It's Wisconsin River again. We're going to see the Wisconsin River alive today. Okay, we are very close to where Mike and Heather bought their property, uh, up outside of Nakusa, Wisconsin. It's a rainy day. It should be a beautiful day to stop in and say hi to Mike. They're up here for the weekend. All right, we are just pulling up to uh, their lot here. So I'm gonna pull in. Beautiful. Got a little shed here. Got their camper all set up. That's nice. Uh, Shauna's been here, uh, but they all joined us at my mom's house in Minnesota. Beetles have never really come out in force. Sure. Well, now they're making up for our time. <laughs>
sure. So we can actually do yeah. um, a move. I don't know if we'll get, like, I'll just bring the kayaks up tonight. I don't know. Yep, and we are crossing the Wisconsin River again as we're bypassing the Dells and then we're going to pick up I-90 down here to take us back down to Madison. Alright, we made it to Madison and we're here at Mission Barbecue for our last stop out before we go to pick up so Cooper. We've gone 1100 miles and we're coming back to where we started here at the Old Stone Pet Lodge, which I am told is because this is Old Stone Road. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Let's get back. Hi, Mike Cooper. Oh, is it, is it, what color is it? It's gray. I know right where it is. Hi, Mike yes. Cooper. Hi, baby dog. Come here, buddy. Come wait, wait, wait. He wants to see you instead of me. Yeah. Hi. Stop. Stop. Look. We're going to go home. We're going to go home. Yep, yep. Oh, thank you. Yep, I love you too. I love Cooper has been waiting to go outside. And now we're home. Oh, I'm very happy. Gotta check for the rabbits. And we're done. Have you seen a happier dog? Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home. And I bet he comes back in. Three, two, one. There he is. He's back. There you go. This is, these aren't the zoomies. These are just, I'm so happy that my people are home. I'm happy to be home myself. Oh, I'm so happy. And now we're playing.